there's room for you there's room for you if you would still like to join us on tuesday uh have you considered i mean many of us we're confident we're accomplished i was just speaking to somebody on our coaching call for a joy watch self-compassion and my gosh, the, the, the talents and what she's accomplished. We've accomplished all these incredible things in our life. But sometimes, because of loss, because of change, because of recovering from illness, because of something that's happening in our life, we our confidence goes and the way we talk to ourselves isn't very kind. Isn't very kind. And this is when being with others, being nurtured and inspired and cared for with others we can because being kind to ourselves shouldn't be something we do on our own. It definitely shouldn't. It should be something that we do with each other in a beautiful, safe, healing space. Have you considered, you know, if you are, if you are thinking to yourself, you know, I could, I could be a wee bit. I mean, think, think about it to yourself just now. How kind are you in a score of one to ten? How kind are you to yourself? It's worth thinking about, right? And it's worth thinking about what that is actually costing us long term, right? Not breaking free from that cycle, that constant, that constant beating ourselves up, right? I mean, uh, what is the impact of it? The impact on our mental health and our overall well-being. When we're beating ourselves up like that, it's really, really tricky to do the things that we know are going to make us feel better. We don't feel inspired. We don't feel motivated to do it because we are beating ourselves up. We are. I mean, and I bet you, you are so compassionate with other people. I bet you, you're the most caring, loving, beautiful friend. I bet you, your friends come to you whenever they are in need you are so loving to everyone else but what we find with high achievers and caregivers and helpers is that we're really good at giving it to everybody else but actually practicing it we put ourselves at the bottom of the bottom of the list and we can't pour from an empty cup I uh, had three years ago, as you know, many of you know, I had a long time, a, a long healing time to really look at how much I was giving out. And illness is a gift because I realized that I really, even although uh, at the time I would think, yeah, I'm taking good care of myself, I could see the ways in which I, I wasn't taking care of myself. And there was a beautiful thing about being on my own for that time and having to go into deep healing to really be able to hear these voices and i was shocked because i'd slowed down myself so much i was shocked at the at the way i was speaking to myself and the thing is self-compassion can be learned it is a practice it is a practice decades of research have shown that highly self-compassionate people were more mated were more motivated were more courageous and in the face of risk and were, were quicker to bounce back when we fail and we all need that we all need to practice being kind to ourselves it's good for us it's good for our families it's good for our pals it's good for the planet imagine the world when we imagine a world, imagine a world where we were all super, super kind to ourselves. When we got rid of that word busy and celebrating that word busy and we instead celebrated the word rest, celebrated the word boundaries, celebrated our, uh, the, you know, taking care of ourselves first. No, sorry, I'm not doing that tonight. I am... Um, I'm having a nice long bath. No, I'm not doing that tonight. I'm actually doing nothing tonight and I'm going to really enjoy it. Sometimes when we're faced with real challenges, that's when we realise how unkind we are to ourselves. And that's certainly what happened with me and how much we, we need one another, right? Because when we are super critical, critical of ourselves, it can have a huge impact on our relationships. If we're not kind to ourselves, it's really tricky to be kind to others. Our career, 
we're not we're not jumping up for those that are, uh, you know, um, what do you call it? Um, promotions. <laughs> I've got there in the end. We're not jumping up for those promotions where you know our overall quality of life uh, we're stagnant and we're stuck. And this is why our program is just so incredible because we will inspire you to fall back in love with yourself and life through singing, through dancing, through being creative, through meditating, through being mindful with huge amount of resources, um, as well as our Tuesday singing sessions. And it's five weeks. And what people really said at the end, you know, at the end of the project the last time, all of them felt that their self-compassion had been increased. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Three of the people who were on our course signed immediately up for the next one. Is that telling? Is that telling? Because they loved it so much. So, um, you know, we talked a wee bit about singing on the JoyWorks post if you want to go back and see it, just about the benefits of singing. But being creative for creative sakes, and, you know, we're all creative. We don't think we are. But even the way we dress, the way we, we furnish our homes, the way we prepare our food, it's all creativity is life and if we're missing creativity in our life we it's a real hole it's a real wee hole there when we're not being creative we're not getting the joy and the fun and the love and the abundance from just being creative for creative sake and professor mihai chink said mihai who did 30 years research on happiness he discovered that we are really happy and you'll know this you'll know this is when we are in the flow when we're in the flow, that's why running for me was such a great thing, because you're just in the flow, and uh, laughing's a great way to just be in the flow, because you're in the present, you're not in the past, you're not in the future, and uh, when I was writing my poetry, um, I, I really, really loved um, that, because I was in the flow, uh, writing, preparing, preparing joy videos and stuff, I really love that too. But yeah, you, you, when we are being creative, we're in the flow, and so it naturally increases our happiness, right? And our positive emotions. The, the Journal of Positive Psychology found that, you know, we can, we can reduce negative emotions and increase positive emotions by being creative. So we're improving our mental health, right? And this is Mental Health Awareness Week. If we're feeling low, we're feeling down, we're feeling stuck, that there's no there's no there's no way you can do it on your own come and do it with joy works for self-compassion you you deserve you deserve to be nurtured you deserve to be inspired you deserve to be loved you know and um, research has also shown the same as singing the same as laughing but actually being creative that can enhance our cognitive function a study uh, in the frontiers of psychology showed that, you know, engaging in creative activities, it actually improves a divergent thinking, which is um, divergent thinking, which is the ability to generate multiple solutions to a problem, right? Uh, so, you know, we do it because we love it. <laughs> we love singing, we love dancing, we love creating. We love being together, but actually research tells us that, the science tells us that we're really improving our health and happiness, our, our health by doing it, we're improving our health. And of course, when we're happier, we're healthier, and when we're healthier, we're happier. Uh, if you've got any kind of wee doubts or anything, give me a wee phone, but here's the thing. Just check out all the JoyWorks reviews. We've been going 15 years, 15 years, and we have 4.9, 4.9 reviews. I think there's about 50 there now on the JoyWorks Facebook page. So check out those reviews, see what people felt at the last self-compassion course and how they transformed their thinking and their love for themselves and how much they just loved it while they're signing back up. And uh, just so love to have you, love to be with you, grow with you, learn with you laugh with you and just have an incredible time together every single day starting Tuesday singing with incredible Polly Beck the songs from the divas she's chosen songs from 
Barbara Streisand, Judy Garland, Doris Day, all of the divas are going to be singing songs for the divas, opening up our heart chakra. And, you know, and that will really release a lot of stuck emotions as well when we're writing, when we're laughing, when we're singing. And that's what we really want. We want to get rid, feel the feelings and be joyous and embrace the gold that is us and just remind ourselves, even although that has happened in our past, even although we've lost this, even although this has changed, even although my life looks really different at the moment, there's actually so much still to laugh and be happy and be grateful about and in gratitude. There's a whole lot of gratitude coming through the programme as well as intention setting because we know that intention setting and gratitude um, really boosts our immune system as, as well, boosting our happiness, boosting our, he boosting our health, boosting our, he um, our happiness. So, um, you know, we will be, we'll be, we'll be doing intention session, intention setting <laughs> and gratitude too, uh, lots of gratitude too, um, to fall back in love with ourselves. Even although all of that has happened in our lives and we have all been through so much, we can still choose joy, we can still choose self-love and we can put being kind to ourselves at the top of our list and really practice being kind to ourselves at the top of our list because, you know, if we are not for we, who are we? And how we live our days is how we live our lives. So please come along and join us. The Joy Works for Self-Compassion start on Tuesday. If you want to do the payment plan, you can do the payment plan. We'd love to help you um, come and make it happen for yourself. And sending you massive love. Thanks for watching. Have a brilliant Tuesday. Bye.